Hi, I'm Teresa Garcia or Amehana Arashi, depending on where you know me from. Now, today I'm not doing a reading or a review or an art video or an ASMR video. Today I am talking about my very good friend who is a person that I kind of look at as a father figure, Ilya Leonov, also known as Morgan Free Pony. He's a volunteer that narrates for the pony community, reading the fan fictions that he finds and enjoys. He's get played in Second Life for the Trotsdale Library as well, where he volunteers as a reader. He is also the narrator for Selkie Skins, Castle and Well, for Pearls of Sea and Stone, Book of Seals, and who I intend to have narrate Selkie Skins, Temple and Skin Quest once that is finally done and published and ready for narration. And I sincerely hope that I actually get it done fairly soon. The reason being is something that is bothering me quite a lot right now. Now, last year he had to go in for surgery on a malignant cancerous tumor. And it was a little bit um, nerve wracking for everyone involved, even those of us who weren't physically there to help him. Currently, he still is free, but of course, you know, once you've dealt with cancer, you're, you're never fully going to uh, stop looking over your shoulder. However, he has developed some rather distressing complications that do endanger his life. He has developed something called an incisional hernia. He has to have surgery to insert a mesh to prevent it from getting worse. And on top of this, he's got medical bills still from his last surgery. He has to have $1,400 copay before they'll even let him schedule his surgery. That's just a tiny amount compared to everything else that he owes and will owe. I do have good news that his GoFundMe has at least met his copay, but his goal is $5,000. And honestly, he could really use your help in raising the rest of his goal to make sure that he has everything covered because surprises happen. And not always surprise the pony. So if you can spare a few dollars to help out my favorite narrator. That would be superb. There is a link down below in the description to his GoFundMe and hopefully I will be able to link to it from a card in the video, but I'm not positive yet because I won't know until I've got this uploaded and I start pushing buttons. So we'll see if that takes or not. But if it does not take, there is still the link down below in the description or you could just type it directly into your search bar, www.gofundme.com slash surgery dash is dash magic. For Ilya, surgery really is magic. If you can't afford to send anything, and I, I know what it's like to be very tight on funds, having had to raise my children with a very small amount right after moving out of their father's house. Um, so, you know, I can really understand if you cannot send or spare anything, but you can hit the share button on his GoFundMe and help word of his campaign spread. Currently, it's trending right now, which I think is very exciting because most of the GoFundMes that I do end up following don't really make it to trending. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that he's getting so much help, but he really needs some more. So, guys, 
gals, furries and non-furries, and ponies and normal people, and Aunt Sue's pet rock. Thank you for listening to this video. Thank you for helping out however you can. Thank you for at least taking the time to listen and to think. Hug your loved ones, people. Cancer is a horrible thing. I hate it. Until next time, happy reading.